Ford is sideways here at Southwick Mass, and we are away clean into the front of the pack right off the bat, David. Somewhat of a surprise in Nathan Ramsey has perfect positioning. Great start. Carmichael's there. So is Doug Henry. Larry Ward and Kevin Windham on those big 450s is the same bike that Ramsey's got, so that uphill stand start benefiting the four strokes. Already a pass by Doug Henry. Shoving Carmichael wide. That's usually what he does to people. So Doug just starting to close in there. You see he's trying to clear his vision. Everyone takes the opportunity to clear their vision. And David, the rain that came down yesterday is certainly apparent. Ricky pointed it out. It's going to be rough today. Yeah, it's, it's not quite rough enough in this moto to where these guys are really going to get that tired. Maybe towards the very end. But the thing about Stan is that it just changes lap after lap. There's Stacy. <laughs> Not that much real important information. Go on the board, just, hey, go out there and have some fun, honey. <laughs> Jimmy Ferry now moving into the fourth place, the 15 bike on board the Yamaha. But right now it is all Nathan Ramsey out in front. of Ramsey in first, Ricky Carmichael in third, Jimmy Ferry in fourth. Here it is. Ricky took advantage of, of Doug reaching up to clear his vision. It looks like he's finally ahead of him. So now his teammate right up there ahead of him. That's the only thing keeping him from the lead. It's not easy to pass Doug Henry anywhere in on the circuit, but especially here at Southwick. So Ricky's he's already done something amazing. Well, Ricky said he loves the stand out here. Doug Henry certainly knows this track maybe better than anyone else. Tries an inside present motocross 338. Todd Harris along with David Bailey and Ricky Carmichael making a run on his teammate Nathan Ramsey. Closed the door, moves into first. And he pushed him so wide, he let Ferry get in there as well. He, I understand Ricky trying to get the lead. Because you, you can't see when you're in second. So right. he, as soon as he got into the lead, he pulled the tear off. So did Tim Ferry. Ramsey was able to get him back. So Honda's still running one and two. And you can see how covered these cars are with all this dark sand. And from the rain, that's aggressive and fast last year, even, even with a separated shoulder. But nobody's touching this kid. He's gone. By the way, Ricky Carmichael is your leader. As we look at the running board, it's Carmichael, Ferry, Dowd, and Henry back to Southwick in just a moment. Massachusetts as American Suzuki presents Motocross 338. Todd Harris along with David Bailey and Cameron Still, your leader, continues to be number four, Ricky Carmichael. He's been so aggressive everywhere. Every time he comes by, he just, he just looks like he's going faster than everybody else. He's putting a couple of seconds to lap at times on Tim Ferry. He's running in second right now. He's done. Mike Larocco now moves into fifth place. Doug is relaxed, and those are all things you need if you're planning on doing really well. And Doug is able to come into this season a lot more prepared than he was last time with bigger expectations. And it looks like he expects to run up front in the top three or four. Two minutes flat, a couple seconds faster than Ferry. Mike Gosler has sent it down to Cameron Steele. Well, Mike, when he went by this now we heard him. Woo! This guy's having fun today. Yeah, I was hollering at him. He's hollering back. He's having a good time. That's awesome. What do the lap times say? Is there anybody that's been even close all weekend? I haven't really been paying attention to anybody else right now, but we got a lot of lappers out there. It kind of fluctuates a couple of three seconds. Good to be the king, isn't it? He's awesome. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, he's been uh, getting his... Through the lap rider is pretty good. The only problem with the lap rider here is that, you know, if he gets stuck behind a guy a little bit longer than usual, it's vision, you know? So you're just like, get out of the way, please. And it's not easy in these conditions. I mean, look at how rough the track is. When do you want to take your hand off the handlebar and fix that? It's not like a supercross where you're in the air all the time. You can reach up no problem. Here, you got to take a little bit of a risk to reach up and try to see where you're going. Carmichael makes quick work of another lapper, but as you pointed out, David, the roosting that you take there is difficult, and this track is getting brutal. Carmichael's starting to feel pretty good about it. One of the few times I've ever heard him cheer himself on during a race. Well, uh, he was having fun in practice this morning. Yesterday was a little bit different. I saw him sitting on the step of the semi and just in a daze. He didn't look all that happy, but I'll bet he's happy now. Ricky Carmichael picks up the win here in moto number 30 board is sideways, and we are off here at Southwick. This is moto number two. Kevin Windham on the outside. This time, David, a much better start. Last time he was back in the pack around eight. Windham right to the front. There was no question about that. And Doug Henry right there. Carmichael oh, right now oh. sits in fifth. And two Yamaha riders go down on the inside line. I don't know if that was Tim Ferry or who that clipped that pole, but it was just a chain reaction. Doug Henry laying up there to the top of the top left of the screen. He tried to do something there that eh, it was a little bit risky trying to get around Kevin Windham. He's not going to leave your room. 
Doug tried to find some, and it's one race a year that he doesn't have time to wait. You know, he was going for it right there. It just looked like he may have caught a tire to the edge of the racetrack, flipped him sideways, and rammed him. Front, it's Kevin Windham, your leader, followed by Ricky Carmichael. We've seen this duo get together before, David. This is some phenomenal racing. Uh, Kevin just railing that right-hand berm after the finish on the big 450. Railing that one is what well. Well, that, that ends his day early, but... Wow, Ricky Carmichael goes for the move. A little mistake by Wyndham through all those ruts. He couldn't double out of that. And Ricky's just close enough always to take advantage of any mistake. He actually causes riders in front of him to make mistakes. And here we go again. This time, Kevin's got a lot better award. Watch Kevin. He's going to struggle just a little bit in the bottom right there. He gets mixed up, cross-rutted, downshift. He's got a just let Ricky Carmichael jump over his head. But now, you know, it's early in the race. Kevin's got plenty of time to come back on it. It's going to happen. So the, the championship is slipping away from Reed. Morocco is a little further back than that in the first place. But I don't know. This guy is just dominating. Let's check in with Cameron. Well, Doug, definitely not where you want to be on the sidelines of the track. What happened? Uh, I was just trying to... I was trying to get inside Kevin for the lead, and uh, I just kind of overjumped the jump, and I don't know if I landed in a hole or my handlebar maybe caught a tire or something, and I went down, and, you know, it was right there. I mean, people just kind of, I was right in the middle of the track, and people just ran all over me, but I'm all right. I think I'm going to have a real sore bump for a while, and I may have broken something in my hand, but I think other than that, I'm fine. Yep, yeah, yeah, no big deal other than that. <laughs> yeah. There's Dow's pass on Kevin Windham. Just the, the section before they came over that hill is very rutted. I think Kevin was trying to look for a good line, and Dow's is going, I don't care how good it looks, just as long as it's better. Before, I'm a bigger fan of the new Kevin Windham, and he is really putting the pressure on. Dow on board the KTM. Windham coming in, and look at Windham carrying the speed down the hill. That's his fourth year wide open on a 450. He was running out of room as well, up over that berm, carrying so much speed. It looks like he's got the... Making that inside work, and then Kevin down the washboard section here at the wick, pinned in fourth gear, running out of room. Make that look easy and stylish. I, I didn't think he had the, the, uh, the energy and the speed to get back around John Dowd. Very crafty here at Southwick, but Kevin wants it. And they're a lot closer to Ricky this time, but it doesn't matter. It looks like he can just cruise his last lap. Probably yell at Gosler again to the mechanics area and pick up another moto win. Ricky Carmichael, your leader. This is the white flag lap. Meanwhile, Kevin Windham sits in second place. A four and a two, not a bad weekend for Windham. He can hold on to that second place ahead of John Dowd, who sits in third on board his KTM. Yeah, but a four and a two compared to a one and a one. Well, Ricky's points lead is approaching 50. This would be an entire race, and we're only four races in. So that, that shows you his domination. Only lost one moto, and that was to Kevin. Kevin will be fast in the series next week at Bud Creek but, uh, here at Southwick. And it's pretty tough to stop Carmichael. He expects to win this race more than any other. Fourth straight 250 victory here at the Wick. Ricky Carmichael practically owns this town. Calling Mayor Carmichael because <laughs> number four on board the Honda is running away with yet another victory here at Southwick. And Stanton, Jeff Stanton watching just like in Daytona going, well, that's another record he just tied. It's only a year away from besting it. It doesn't matter the surface, David. It doesn't matter the course. It doesn't matter what you put the kid on. Ricky Carmichael is just fast. And there's no one that can touch him right now. If it's a motocross, motor, or a supercross race, and they're out there on their bikes going fast, Ricky is usually the fastest. Yesterday, it didn't matter. It was muddy. He knew the conditions would change. He was quick. He wasn't the quickest. Didn't really impress me that much. But when it counts, man, this kid comes up big. 90. That's the number you want to drill into your head, and I'm sure it's going to increase the coming weeks. 90 wins, AMA all-time leader, number four, Ricky Carmichael, and he picks up another win here at Southwick. Some 91, and Kevin Windham uh, looks like he's got John Dowd back there, and he's going to be able to hang on to second. Ricky just has this one more corner. Kevin's approaching it, but too late. So Ricky Carmichael comes to Southwick one more time and claims yet another victory. Carmichael, 